Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Purva Chitna, special correspondent with The Print. Now, right now, I am in Borivali, which is in western suburbs of Mumbai. And this is because a shocking incident happened on Thursday night when a former corporator from Shiv Sena, Uddha Barasaib Thakre, uh, Shiv Sena, led Shiv Sena, he was shot dead. Now, I am standing right now at the spot where he was actually shot dead on Thursday. The office that you see behind me, uh, called Morris Bhai, uh, he uh, is a social worker uh, in this particular area. And this very office is where Abhishek uh, Ghosalkar, the former corporator from Shiv Sena, UBT, was shot dead on Thursday night. So uh, what exactly uh, happened and uh, why this shocking incident uh, came out in Mumbai, in western suburb of Mumbai. Now, let's go back a little bit. Now, Abhishek Gosalkar was a former corporator from this area. And Morris Bhai, as you say, uh, uh, he in fact was a social worker, a businessman uh, in this area. And he wanted to uh, get into politics. Now, it has been said that during COVID, uh, that is when Morris uh, helped a lot of people around the area. And he was even declared a COVID warrior. Uh, by Maharashtra government. Post that, he wanted to get into active politics and uh, he wanted to contest from the same very wall. Now, as we know that the BMC elections have not yet happened and it has been uh, two years uh, since the BMC term has expired. So, uh, there, there are expectations that the elections will happen anytime soon. And from this particular wall, Morris wanted to uh, you know, stand for the elections. It is also being said that uh, he was approached by many parties. In fact, this is what he said in his own fa Facebook live some time back, that he was approached by many political parties and if uh, he's not given ticket, then he might even contest independent. But he wanted to contest from this very war. And this is the whole uh, uh, background behind the political rivalry between the Ghosalkar and Morris. Now, Ghosalkar family has always held this seat and if you see this is the office like uh, if, if you just see the orange board right there this is where abhishek gosalkar's office is that is the shiv sena shakha there and right across the road is morris's uh, office now on thursday night uh, what happened is like uh, in fact on thursday what morris said is that uh, he wanted to uh, conduct a social program and that is why for that uh, he invited abhishek gosalkar now, Abhishek, uh, he said that, you know, we should, uh, there shouldn't be any animosity between us, so you should come over, we should do a joint Facebook Live and uh, tell the world that there shouldn't be any animosity between us. And that's why uh, he called Abhishek Ghosalkar to his office. Now, as you can see, this is where the office of Ghosalkar is. And uh, uh, you can see, the right now, everything is just closed, but this is the Shiv Sena shakha the one with orange board is the shiv sena shakha and right across the road is morris's office so abhishek also uh, went uh, to his office and uh, during the facebook live they had their facebook live on thursday night and as soon as the facebook live was done everything was recorded on camera that abhishek gosalkar was shot dead now he went alone to the office. There were no workers, karyakartas around, but they were standing outside. And as soon as there were bullets that were fired, uh, he was all wounded. He fell out and his workers then carried him uh, from the spot to a nearby hospital where the doctor proclaimed him, declared him dead. And in the meanwhile, uh, it is said that Nor Morris, he also killed himself. Now, the person who allegedly shot Abhishek Ghosalkar, he is also now dead. And the entire case is now being investigated. Uh, in the meanwhile, in between, uh, now why this, it is not just a political rivalry uh, over the seat. Now it is being said that since Morris wanted to contest on the seat, he, uh, he the people close to him tell us that he was being uh, told not to contest on the seat because it is Abhishek Ghosalkar's seat. And in between sometime around 2022, uh, he was arrested for an alleged rape case by the local nearby Mumbai police. Now, he spent 86 days in jail in 2022. Now, this is what Morris told in his Facebook Live after re getting released from the jail that he spent 86 days in the jail. But after coming out, now he still is uh, determined to contest from, this, uh, from the seat. So, the sources uh, close uh, to Morris uh, 
in fact gave their statement to the mumbai police on thursday that uh, after coming out from the jail morris uh, morris thought and morris blamed abhishek gosalkar for his jail term and he wanted to somehow take revenge now what all of this is true or not in fact the police is investigating this matter now this uh, case is being transferred to the crime branch and the mumbai crime branch is going to investigate so if all these allegations are true or not that will be a part of investigation but this is a shocking incident and this is the second incident in maharashtra in the mumbai suburbs which happened after the incident that happened in uh, ulhas nagar last week so the matter is now under investigation but that's all we have for you at this point uh, that both abhishek ghosalkar uh, who was a former Shiv Sena UBT uh, corporator. He has been shot dead by his local rival, uh, social worker Morris, uh, who wanted to get into active politics. That's all we have for you. This is me, Purva Chitnis, signing off.